you know, I just want to start with saying, you know, in front of both Alison and uh, and Roy, the things that I've been saying through the press zone is like, there is a lot of, with all respect for all athletes, I think there's a lot of athletes that are not that good that will get an Olympic gold, you know, Ryan Benjamin running 46-17, you know, he would deserve a gold medal and, uh, and it's crazy. And also, you know, Alison running super times, it's, I think it's just an honor to be, to be a part of it. And, uh, I never thought in my wildest imagination that it would that this would be possible. 2018, you spent a lot of time getting beaten and coming back and getting beaten again by Mr. Samba. Did you ever doubt yourself at that time? Did you ever think you could end up here? Of course, I didn't like to be beaten. But um, but what I take with me from that time is like I've been I had development also that year. You know, I was running 48. 22 in 2017 and then I proved to 4764 in in 2018 it was just like Ryan and uh, Samba they just ran really fast so I couldn't I couldn't keep up with that and uh, I decided you know I don't like to lose so I went on trained very hard you know and, uh, and I improved to 2019 then I improved to 2020 and then I now I improved even more in 2021 so um, this has been still work and uh, always what keeps me motivated is that I don't want to lose because I hated it uh, maybe the track I can speak for the track but what I can say about you know the shoes that I've been developing uh, in the collaboration between Puma and, uh, and the Mercedes Formula One team is that I've been trying to make it as credible as I think it can be. Uh, yes, we have the carbon plate, but we have not. We have tried to make it as thin as possible because I think that's that's the way that I would like to do it. Um, so, you know, of course, technology will always will always be there. But I also want to keep it down to a level where we can actually compare results, and that's important. I talked to Rai before the SEMA finals, and we, you know, we agree that you know we we truly respect each other and, and what we do and. And uh, I don't think it's fair to put us up against each other because, you know, both of us are working really hard and we know what it takes. And uh, with these results, you know, I think we should share the glory. Um, so, yeah, you know, but the pressure is tough. And, uh, you know, it wasn't it wasn't easy sleeping last night. And I hope, you know, the other guys felt the same. But uh, it's also, I think the pressure also is is what, if you, if you can, if you can handle it, I think that gives you a lot of, positive energy that you can put into a great performance. And I think that's what we saw today. You asked uh, the question? I just said that, you know, the last 20 meters, I couldn't even feel my legs. And uh, I knew that um, I had a crazy American coming on the inside there wanting to get me. So I just ran for my life and, uh, you know, getting over the finish line was, was a special moment. No, What's he not, doing? Has he not, gone mad? Not a lot, but uh, I got to say some some words to him. He was uh, he was in the stands. It's probably the first time I've seen him, you know, with with the high pulse. He, I think he actually was was a bit impressed today. 